Cecilia, welcome to Art San Diego Thank 2015. You. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. So, Aurelia, um, the work that we are seeing uh, today is a collection of work. It's not any one single artist. It's a collection of work that's been brought together for exhibition. Why don't you tell us uh, how many artists uh, you and Colas Sengel will be uh, representing? Uh, in this fair, we have brought three artists because we believe that it's better to show more work of each artist rather than have too many and for people not to understand the intention of the artist. So we have Francois Gillot, who is our most well-known established artist. And we were very lucky to have that many works of her because it's sometimes difficult to get works nowadays because she's so much in demand. So this is our first artist. Then we have Henri Basilia. Uh, in the back, who is an artist from Georgia, Eastern Europe, and who works in oil pastel and sort of brings memory of his bohemian upbringing, family of artists, and all of his personal dream world uh, into his pastels. And then on the other world, we have Serge Kantorowicz, who was born in Poland and raised in France uh, after the war, and who has worked very much inspired by French literature. So it's, it's, when I'm listening to you talk about the artist, it seems as though there is a post-war influence in each one of these artists' work. Is that correct? Uh, yes, each artist is very different. Uh, Serge Kantorowicz might be more in the past, pre-Nazi area, mm -hmm. because his family was so uh, affected. So to get away from the pain. I think he transfers himself in the literature of the 19th century. Uh, Henri Vassilia is sort of in a dream world of his own, and Francois Gillot is very modern and always looking towards the future. So they are all very different. I think the connecting thread is Colin love for each one of them. He chooses artists that he really believes in with his guts, that he loves, and not necessarily as to are they successful, not successful, is how does he relate to them? And this is the uni unifying factor in a sense. The, the, the uh, artists that we're seeing, and it's been brought up a couple of times during this event, that the collection really could make up a collector's portfolio of work, not just a painting or not just a couple of paintings from an artist, but rather the entire collection could make up a collector's portfolio. We would love that. <laughs> yeah. And so you're not just exhibiting here in San Diego, you're moving the collection by coastal all the way across the United States. Yes, we're going to be in Miami at Spectrum Miami. We will be showing different artists in Miami because Cola uh, has been wanting to show his artists, so we're giving uh, younger uh, artists a chance too. So we will be, we have very exciting artists. We have Nicola L, who is a pop artist, whose work is right now at the Tate, and she will be doing a performance. So we're very excited about that. That's good. Well, we're very happy to have both of you here. And thank you so much for coming. Welcome to Art San Diego, and we look forward to seeing you in Miami. Absolutely. We're very, very happy to do that. Thank you. Thank you. All right.